Well, good morning everybody. Today, we are on lamp duty changing, changing duty. Lamp changing duty. So, we have got to go up a very high today and it's going to be quite interesting. And I'll take you along with bed. Van warms up. Not too bad. So what we got? Got a couple of corn lamps um, and quite a few metal halide lamps. I think they're 250 watt or 400 watt uh, metal halides. So not too shabby. All right, let's go to job and see what we got going on. Well, 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 we are a little ways up now, boys. <laughs> yeah. Right, so this is what we're facing with and what we're dealing with. We've got a 150 watt bulb lamp, ballast, igniter, it's blowing its fuse, ballast is gone. Getting a new one, changing it to an LED carb. Yep. It didn't last long. It's a... Uh, Oh, you can see it. 250 watt lamp, metal halide, on 150 watt ballast. No wonder it stinks. And uh, it took the cutout fuse as well. So. Not bad, not bad. I thought it smelled a bit funky when I pulled the lid. Because again, this is only rated for 250 watt. So the ignite is fine, but the ballast has obviously been fried. So. LED cob it is, and a replacement fuse at some point. Well, there you go, jobs are good. And LED lamp in, ballast and guts removed, close the lid down, do it up. Getting some strange looks off people because I'm recording. And then, yeah, now I've got to come down on battery because this lift is a bit dodgy. <laughs> Nah, it's alright, but uh, yeah, it's now stuck on battery, so I lost the key by the lookies of it. Excellent. I mean, what a view though, <laughs> what a view. I'm about 8 metres up now. Once right, the car park's done, now I've got to go up, up there. I'll see you up there. Just got to walk back, grab my lifter. Oh, damn, that's a long way down. Shit. Oh dear. I remember I don't like it like this. It is what it is. But the view though. <laughs> the view. I might as well just carry on and max it out completely. Not far off. <laughs> All this to charge a bloody bulb. Oh, view. What a view. Absolutely lovely. Well, we're about we're about nine, maybe ten meters up. This is a twelve meter picker. So that's nearly maxed out. And uh, have a look at this. Lamp's exploded. That's not good. Obviously with caution, because these are filled with gas. If you drop them, you know about it. So yeah, that's me done for the day. Um, that light fitting was really looking sorry for itself. I've took this out because the lamp was actually seized in it and I didn't fancy it blowing up. Just like I say, these metal halides, they're filled with some inert gas or something. Um, and I don't think it, I'd fancy it, well, I don't fancy it blowing up in my hands, quite frankly. And some lovely rug rats threw a stone at it. The stone was actually sitting here. Show how much has fallen off. Um, yeah, this rock about that big. Um, they threw up. Fair play for considering they're about nine, nine, ten meters up. That's fair play to actually get it to shatter and then the rock to say it stay in it. Um, but yeah, that was quite impressive. So. Uh, yeah, I've got a fun task of getting all this off, and then I've got to try and get. I don't know if you can see it with the brackets in there, still on it. There you go, you can see it right out of there. I'll try and get that off somehow because it's stuck. 
if you think this was made in 2009 it's about 12 years old and it's not been off since it was put on so yeah it's a bit a bit uneasy um quite a few near misses where this light fitting was situated it was on the middle of a fucking bend and uh had most of it coned off and uh, whatnot, but yeah, people are always in a rush, always, always in a rush. So, uh, yeah, anyway, spark by day, scrapper by night. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you back in the shed. It'll be a few hours from now. It's been a little while, and uh, been experimenting. Now I've stripped out a lot of old sockets and switches and spurs and that and uh wondering how much you can get out of them, like brass wise. Not a fair bit. Not a fair bit. So I'll soon need to sort it out a bit. Yeah, quite a lot of plastic though. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna do this before my tea's ready and then probably call it a day. It's pretty much done for the minute. Um, if you ever wondered why the extractor fans that you just take cover off if you do, if you don't, ever wondered why you get a yellow spot there? Well, it's that resistor getting too hot pretty much. So this fan didn't have much long left, left much life left in it before it would have packed up. So these are quite well known for blowing the resistor or melting these two drying these two capacitors out and that is usually the main killer of these so yeah here's what it is and then as far as I'm wondering that's what's really in one of them um, for the 12 volt versions it's the same style of motor but the windings on this one are thin or fine hairs or fine windings because it's a 240 volt motor for a 12 volt motor, the windings are very thick. <coughs> it's uh, something to do with the way they're wound. But they're wound in the same thing because all it really is is 12 volts at 50 hertz instead of 240 volts at 50 hertz. What should I say? 50, 60 hertz. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Nice chunky motor, nice small one. So what I usually do is I'll just pin, pin, um, get a pair of bolt cutters and cut that in half and that side in half and then fall to bits. Let's put some age to this, doesn't it? 15th edition. We're on the 18th now. <laughs> this was a cover of an old uh, um, time clock. So, yeah. An oldie, the RCD that that was on about is uh, was uh, pretty much long disconnected. So yeah, let's have a look in the bucket then. All right then, so we've got some singles, a lot of brass, and a little bit of copper. Now you're probably wondering why am I going to all these lengths? Well. I've got a lot of brass as it is. Uh, I might as well just keep going now until uh, I reach my deadline, which is going to be the 28th of June. I've got so it's just under two months. So let's see how much I can save from then. And if I can even get in this shed by then, that is, we'll have to see. So, yeah, right. That's going to do it for this video, I'll uh, leave it here, um, in the next video I'm going to tackle that street light and uh, see how much I can get off it, even though 
this was the ballast. So now we've got a ballast. Yeah, such a shame. So 12 years of service. 14th week of 2009. Don't ask us what day that actually is, because uh, what month or whatever, because I don't know. <laughs> it's quite easy to do, but yeah, I'm not in the mood. Anyway, that'll do. I'm not stripping them, they're going in as is, because it's too much hassle and it's worth. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.